Do you ever wonder what's underneath your motorcycle seat? Do you even have space underneath your motorcycle seat? Since not everyone has got a spot underneath their seat, this video is not going to be for everybody, but it might give you some ideas on what you can carry on your bike if you wanted to add an additional storage spot. Having essential stored underneath your seat lets you go on rides without even having to think about, do I have emergency supplies? So what do you even put underneath a motorcycle seat? Stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and jimmy off this seat here. Jimmy, jimmy off. I'm gonna jimmy off the seat. The seat, clearly I don't have a terrible amount of space underneath the seat. I've got kind of this spot here behind the battery, but there's still plenty of space where I can put useful things back here that I wouldn't have to normally carry on when I'm on a ride. Another very cool thing that came with this Triumph is that it's got a tool roll bag underneath the seat. This is only gonna be really useful if what's inside is actually useful. This is a very sad toolkit. I don't know if you've ever had to use one of these before, but I've had these break in the garage. If it can break in the garage, this is just a plastic handle, I wouldn't really trust it on the road as an emergency. With that toolkit being so sad, there are some essentials that you should make sure that you do have at least so you don't have to worry the next time you're on a ride. Of course, one of those things is zip ties. They're very easy to just kind of fold up, tie them together, put a zip tie around them to actually keep them from falling apart from one another. And you can use these on anything from parts that are falling off, fairings that are falling apart. And the same thing is gonna kind of go for electrical tape and safety wire. Safety wire being the biggest of them. I can't tell you how many times safety wire has saved my ass on a lot of different trips. Not necessarily mine, but the people around me. People around you often have bikes that are falling apart. And of course, the best thing to have is if you only have a very small space is to get a multi-tool. It doesn't matter what the brand is. All that matters is that you are going to have so many awesome different tools. You don't have to worry about carrying pliers or scissors or a screwdriver or a saw or a flathead. It's all in one beautiful spot. Now this is clearly not a toolkit for super long road trips. You're gonna to wanna to bring something a lot more complex and more in depth for your specific motorcycle. You're gonna be going down the road for more than a couple of days. Having the bare necessities for emergencies is going to keep you going from being stuck on the side of the road for really simple things, but actually putting together a specific toolkit that fits on your bike is going to help you tremendously if you find yourself stuck on the side of the road. Honestly, this kit that came with the Triumph is either missing things or it is really just this sad. <laughs> I think this is a five millimeter Allen key and it really doesn't fit anything other than a couple of the radiator guards. So let's talk about the tools that you would want to have in order to go on a long trip or at least have for an emergency. I always check these things before I go on a ride, but just in case, I always make sure I have them. And that's going to be the front axle pinch bolts, the axle nut itself, the brake caliper, Allen keys, the handlebar clamp bar Allen keys, and then of course anything that might be necessary in order to take off a gas tank. Sometimes there are things that go on underneath your gas tank that you need just a little bit more space to be able to see. Being able to pull that off is super helpful. So the one good thing this toolkit comes with is a chain adjustment tool. This is actually how uh, you adjust the chain on a single-sided swing arm motorcycle, specifically Triumphs, but definitely a multi-tool is gonna help me a lot more than uh, honestly the, the 17. Uh, I don't even know if it has a 17 mil anywhere on it. So the Triumph toolkit aside, uh, what's something that would be a little bit more helpful for you is going to be this, which is a cruise toolkit set. I have not set this up yet exactly for the Triumph, but this is a much better start and option and something that I can add pieces that I need. I'm gonna see if I can actually fit this underneath the seat, but this would be much more helpful. You've got a lot more options of different tools. Um, depending on what your bike has, whether it's got Allen sockets or it's got the Torx head sockets, this one actually has a tiny mini ratchet. And while this one is also made of plastic, it is much more sturdy and the bit, it doesn't go down the whole shaft of it, it just goes right in the top there. It actually comes with an entire set of bits, which is gonna be much more helpful to you instead of just having your typical Phillips head and flat head. So if you can't fit something like this underneath your seat, figure out a way to get this on your bike. If you need to make it a little bit smaller, that's okay, but having those sorts of tools when you're on the side of the road, SOL, it's definitely gonna make you feel a little more at ease. So I hope this inspires some of you guys to actually take a look underneath your seat, see what's under there, 
Besides your registration and whatever pertinent information and documents you need underneath there, at least putting, like what I said, a moldy tool and some zip ties, maybe some electrical tape or safety wire, those are gonna be the bare minimum things that'll help you on the road. So if you get stuck, you can thank me later. <laughs> thank you for watching hope you enjoyed the video if you do please leave a like leave a comment subscribe maybe share these videos with people it really helps me out it helps the channel out and lets me know that what I'm doing is not too bad I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one